I'm with Mike Bello and you are watching on camera. So basically we're going to be talking about uh, various types of USB-C cables and uh, their functionality and sometimes you may think you're buying the right cable and even though it's brand new uh, well don't you will be surprised that some of them don't work I've been running some tests with some of the USB-C cable uh, USB-C cables that I plug into the Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K as you can see over here the, these are two different brand name uh, let me see no, these two are the same and I have two over here that are different the date USB-C but made by different company and this one it's a JXMOX and over here let me unplug this one and it's uh, same thing this one well is JSAUX all right so I don't know what company that make them but that's the label that's on them so I'm I'm doing things with one hand so if you see the camera is shaking uh, I'm sorry all right so this is the black magic pocket 4k and so the cable is plugged and over here as you can see there is a Samsung T5 500 uh, gigabyte inside of it and this is the small rig uh, wooden handle and so it's inserted inside of it and then it's plugged here and then as you can see the USB-C cable is going over there and then over here is the HDMI cable that runs through the monitor all right so all right so this is what happened we're gonna power the camera off I mean on and we're gonna power it on and you're gonna notice that it's gonna be on it may not even see the drive at first camera is powered on and it says no card on both slots all right so let's go to the menu we go to menu so we're gonna go to the next page and make sure that it's on fullest card sometimes you can see it's on external drive but the external drive doesn't show so we we put we press on fullest card and we go back and it still doesn't show so at this point what you need to do is to unplug the cable I'm gonna unplug it and then next time I replug it uh, camera is gonna shake a little okay now it's gonna show the drive now alright so that's a problem that we were hoping the minute you turn the camera on if the drive has already been plugged and you will assume that the camera will automatically see it sometimes you just have to unplug even if you power the button off and then you turn it back on sometimes it may sit on occasion and at times or most of the time it won't show you just have to unplug and replug and that's how you see it all right so the reason for this video is to show you that these plugs the USB-C plugs whether they bring new or not you just purchase it when you're using it with that kind of uh, setup which means that you plug it in the USB-C connector and then you plug it in the drive which is the Samsung T5 and 500 gig so watch what happened when I press record so you can re you can press record here or you can press the button on top and it will record so when it goes around 19 seconds watch you're gonna have the exclamation exclamation point right there or it depends it might go a little bit over 19 seconds 20 something and then you see just like as as expected you have this which means if you were in the field or you 
working for the customer and then you will run into this problem okay so at this point it's it's nothing wrong with the Samsung drive it's the cable meaning certain USB-C cable they don't work with the Blackmagic pocket so you will have to use the cable that came in the box with the SSD drive so that will be the cable that you have to use for some odd reason I mean I, I thought USB-C cable for USB-C cable they both they all do the same function but the test reveals that some of them despite the fact that they brand new they still don't work so we're gonna power the camera off and we're going to unplug this cable and then unplug this one hold on it's gonna be hard let's see okay so I unplug this cable and we're gonna use one of this even if I use any of these two here despite that they different but still gonna run into that same problem uh, we just run a battery of test uh, again after we were initially having issues with the Samsung uh, the Samsung drive the SSD drive the T5 uh, so basically what we have realized it's not the drive that has issue rather the USB-C cable we replace it with this one because we've been using this cable here so it's made by uh, what is it JSAUX GSOX so that cable um, it shows the drive it shows that it's powered so I don't know if it's broken or not but something is wrong with it and again we use another one which is the same brand that's just a totally different one same brand but different cable and then when we plug it same result after it starts recording and then it stops so in the setup menu we set the uh, to external drive and then what I also what we also find out that even if you set it on fullest card and then when you press menu it still see the drives so either or works but you can choose to put it on external drive knowing that you're using an external drive and then as you can see we put it on ProRes HQ and 4k DCI right and out of this drive I have uh, 80 minutes with that setup with that codec so uh, mind you that there are other clips on the drive because we've been doing tests before so again it's the same setup with the battery pack here and then there's the C the, the battery dummy over here for the for the battery pack here and using the USC card here plugging to the drive at the bottom here and so basically this one works with no problem and I'm going to demonstrate so press recording here and it's gonna uh, the first test went past one or two minutes I believe and this one again because it used to stop at 18 seconds you know so that means it's important to have uh, many USB-C cables if this is the setting or the setup that you decide to go with so knowing all the problems that can occur when you go in the field to shoot you know for clients and stuff uh, make sure that 
at least you carry a couple a few of the SD cards the Lexa 128 gigabyte uh, 250 megabyte per second of writing and reading so it works no you know it works successfully no problem that is as backup you can use it but if you decide to go with the the, the Samsung T5 uh, make sure that you test your cable and then if all the cables are good then you're good to go um, now we're going at 1 minute and 16 seconds as you can see it's still recording no problem so that's good news um, just have few cables in your bag USB-C cable or even HDMI whatever connectors that you connection you're gonna be doing in case two you have issue with your HDMI going to your monitor or if you're using SDI make sure you have more than one if you can afford more than one so again no issue no exclamation point which is what we were hoping for so which means that the test is being successful and that's what every filmmaker hopes we don't want to run into issues when we are in the middle of the field ruining a whole day of shooting or even embarrass you in front of your your clients we don't want that so if uh, you weren't aware again the t7 by samsung uh the samsung t7 doesn't it's not compatible with the black magic 4 key for now I don't know if a software update can solve this problem, but in the meantime, if you were interested in buying the Samsung T7 SSD drive because of the high speed that it has, which is like uh, uh, 1000 or either 2000, I forgot, you know, megabyte per second, uh, I think it's 1000. So you don't have to purchase it, stick with the, the Samsung T5.